Hey everyone, welcome to this Meeting Rooms Made Simple webinar from Crestron and Microsoft. Uh, I'm your host, Neil Fluister, Technical Marketing Director here at Crestron, and I've got two distinguished guests who are going to be joining me for the next 20 minutes to talk you through how you can take the opportunity to talk to your customers uh, about how to simplify their meeting room experiences. Let's bring out my guests uh, for the uh, the session today. Uh, in the middle of the screen, you can see Charlie Jones. Charlie, do you want to introduce yourselves and what you do for us here at Crestrom? Yes, thanks, Neil, and hello, everybody. Yeah, I'm Charlie James, and I'm the Alliance Partner Director at Crestron, covering Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Um, good to be on the call today. Fantastic. And on the far left, or I never know which way around it, is it mirrored or not? I don't know. Uh, but on the other side from me, uh, you'll see Tom Hall. Tom, could you introduce yourself and uh, what you do? Hi, Neil. How are you doing? Yeah, uh, I'm Thomas Hall. Uh, I'm the uh, EMEA Alliance Manager for Crestron uh, here uh, at Microsoft. And um, yeah, it uh, very delighted to be with you today. Fantastic. It feels like a bit like blind date, but um, we'll get into <laughs> it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, right. So we're going to be covering off uh, some interesting topics today. We've got, Tom, you're going to cover off, obviously, some of the market information and the data points uh, and, and really what uh, customers and, and the channel partners need to take and learn from what's going on. And then, Charlie, you're going to come and talk to us more about how we can actually then take all of those data points and put them into yes. actual real products and solutions for our partners to go and capitalize. So, Tom, do you want to just uh, take us through the hybrid work trend index and and really as I say what those customers can learn from that information uh, and how they can then deliver that as solutions to their customers yeah no i'd love to neil and i think um and one of the reasons we wanted to do this was because we want to give you guys as much context as possible around kind of like why this is important um, and sometimes we kind of get bogged down in kind of focusing to, you know too much into some of the, some of the complexities but actually I think the important thing when selling room technology is actually to take a step back and think about the you know the vision and the why somebody wants to go do this. So, and um, we're going to talk about what I call work trends, but um, we've got hybrid in brackets, um, and it's really kind of like when you're talking to your customers, helping them understand kind of why this is important, where they're going, um, and kind of that kind of those key questions will actually open up the complexity around what they want to do. And then you can go and sell some of that lovely Crestron stuff um, and hopefully the Microsoft Pro licensing as well, um, which we're going to talk about also a little bit later on. Um, so look, first of all, um, you know, when I think about um, the pandemic, um, I've recently started watching um, The Walking Dead. Uh, I think I'm on season nine now, which um, like watching these huge series is, is, is ultimately a, uh, a result of a pandemic and not just The Walking Dead. But I kind of do think of it like we're coming out from sort of the zombie apocalypse into the real world. So I can just kind of leave you with kind of just some things to think about and discuss maybe with your customers. So during the pandemic, one in six people actually cried with a co-worker on a video platform. And so we've gone from this place where we're moving out of our caves, we're moving out of our safe places, and now we kind of have to then think about how we reimagine the workplace to make it work properly. And that's where what we've been working on with Crestron, and, uh, you know, on the, this campaign, and kind of where we're kind of going with this technology. It's about delivering the right experience to come back into the office and um, actually still keep that intimacy that we created during the zombie apocalypse but actually we can actually start working together in offices and giving people that right experience so just think about that that human element i think i think that's really kind of one of the key questions that kind of our, our, our ultimate end customers are asking is, is how do we make hybrid work and for me it's very much around how that technology potentially sits into the future and uh, you know how we make sure that the person outside of the room has got the right experience with the person inside of the room all of that kind of stuff that's kind of really what you want to think about so um kind of as as we kind of move on um to the to you know to the next piece um flexible work um and I kind of think about that more than than hybrid work because hybrid is very much an in-between state i think we're at a place now where business leaders and owners want something I think workers also want another thing. So 66% of, of business leaders say they're going to redesign their, their, their workplace for hybrid working. So, they, they, you know, business leaders are open to kind of spending money, but they kind of want to be guided and advised by you guys around what the right things to do. Where Where is the right place for me to invest? How many rooms of a certain size do I need with certain capacity? 
you know, these kind of questions, you know, what kind of tables and furnitures do I need like, to, to make those rooms accessible for my employees, to make the experience for them to come to the office a good place to come into. And it's not just around what the room layout is, but there's question marks about real estate. There's question marks about um, facilities for employees that, you know, these kind of things are all up in the air at the moment. You know, how much childcare you know, benefit do businesses give to employees? Maybe, you know, maybe people are looking at things like crashes at work and these kind of things. Like that whole shaping of the modern workplace is evolving. And, and, you know, the business leaders within those businesses are thinking about how to optimise that to get the right talent, to get the right people into the office and make sure everybody has that great experience. But at the same time, the employees are saying, we want flexibility. Um, you know, I want to be able to work from a coffee shop if I'm out and about. I want to be able to go and pick up, um, you know, the kids from school at 3, 3.30 on a Tuesday because actually I've got a situation where, um, you know, my, my wife can't make it or my husband can't make it or whichever. You know, that flexibility is, is critical. So figuring out what that future bit looks like and making sure then the technology inside and outside of the office is critical. And that's really where you guys come in as advisors and key, you know, key aggregators of the technology. And we're going to talk about that with Charlie's going to get into that kind of good stuff around how you can simplify that for people. You can lay out the, you know, the, the, the facts like I've been doing here now, but you can also then lay out some possible solutions for people and hopefully it helps you sell um, more, more exciting room technology. So um, as, as we move on, um, I just kind of wanted to touch on a few productivity kind of things. And what we've actually noticed is, is that the productivity tools that Teams has been providing um, has really meant that there's actually a change in how we work. And um, so actually, you know, we know that 50 percent of people respond in less than five minutes to a Teams uh, ping. So actually what we've done is we've kind of got like a really, really great platform. but now we're evolving to a place where we need to think about how that platform integrates into that work environment for things like office office space and um we've got a new platform coming called, called called places and all of those places will need to be connected again this is something which crestron do through um you know that the, the, their pads and um, they go outside the doors um you know the booking booking of the spaces managing all, all of the all of the spaces and that kind of stuff. that's kind of where crestron are kind of ahead of everybody else with their technology around bringing that into the office and then actually allowing our platform to sit on top of that and work across that. And that's really where we're trying to work, um, you know, with creating the same productivity gains that were at home, bringing those into the office. And that's really where I think the right products and tools inside the office will actually um, help you guys sell more meeting room technology. And um, lastly, um, again, teams feel and they have felt that they're a little bit on their own. Um, I, you know, I work in a global team and I've actually never met anybody in my team um, and I'm a team of six people. So I'm really siloed here in the UK. But the platform and teams and that software layer and then all the technology I've got around my office and around the offices in the teams in Redmond enable me to interact and work in that collaborative way. And that reduces that feeling of being siloed. So these are kind of things that I, you know, I would suggest you focus on. How do you improve that for your customers? How do you offer them? that meeting room technology that reduces that feeling of, of people feeling lonely within the workplace and actually increases productivity. So those are just some of the trends that we've kind of picked up in, in you know, in the last um, little while. Um, we've got all of these from a place um, called the Work Trend Index, which is a huge, huge piece of work that Microsoft's been doing. It's an ongoing report. And we just had our latest update in September 2022. And there's more interesting facts and figures and kind of like question marks around work, work trends and how, what the right things are to do. But it, it's a really, really powerful resource for you guys. You go and check it out. It's available online. Um, just type in Microsoft Work Trend Index. And I think you, you can take that information to help become a thought leader with your customers. And that will ultimately um, help you sell the right solutions for your customers. And Charlie's going to talk about that a lot um, in a little bit. So um, now the science part, um, we've talked about the theory and why it's important, but um, Microsoft also recognizes that, well, you need the right kind of technology stack to go into that room. And um, ultimately it does need to be paid for. So, you know, I think it's really, really important that we just address the license piece. Um, whether you sell the licenses or not, or somebody else sells the licenses, we need to be able to advise the customer on the right benefits of the right license for the right reasons to get the right outcomes and experiences from those rooms. And so I'm going to do the licensing part. Very, very short, but 
um, Thomas Hall uh, at Microsoft. I'm on LinkedIn. If you want to talk to me about licensing, reach out to me on LinkedIn and I'm more than happy um, to try and advise you best on, on, on what the right situation for the right thing for your right customer. Happy to talk to you about that in length and detail. So um, what we've done is we've just reimagined the licensing and we've done this for a couple of reasons. We've tried to simplify the entry position into, you know, into a managed native environment. And then we've actually really given you the, all the bells and whistles uh, in a pro license, which and, and actually within that, what we've done is we've given you the opportunity as the partners, the dealers and the resellers um, as the channel partners. Um, to actually sell on top of that products and services as well. So there's a real sales opportunity for you to go on top of the pro license. OK, so let's just start and talk about basic for a little bit. And um, I was on the worldwide call not so long ago and the guy, he gave a very quick rundown of this. He said, well, basic is basic. I, I think it's better to actually understand what basic does give you. Basic gives you the ability to have um, bookings of the rooms, controls of the rooms. It gives you that in point into the basic manageability of the estate of rooms. And that's the biggest blocker we have around. Um, there's a sales motion out there, which is good is good enough, um, which is basic, uh, you know, BYOD devices in a room, just literally chuck a, a sound bar in a room, it'll be all right. The, you know, the, the guy or the girl in the meeting will figure out plugging into their device, um, probably break a USB cable, probably break the equipment. It's unmanaged. IT don't know about it. Like there's so much downtime and faff in a BYOD scenario, but at the same time, there's benefits to it as well. But actually the benefits of having a managed scenario across teams really, really gives the IT department and the business much, much more control over the environment, the security, all of that other good stuff. And so basic is a zero dollar license which allows a business to have up to 25 room scenarios or devices set up within the business for free. Now, the um, and again, this is quite important. You can transact that free license into the tenant or the business themselves can do it directly um, through Web Direct. Or in fact, um, they you might be partnering with another partner who does the licensing and they actually can then enable that for you. But I think it's quite important to know that there's no blocker anymore for having a, a non-native experience for, you know, for any business or partner out there. Then we step up to Pro. Pro is that full suite license, which gives you all of the bells and whistles, full manageability, full visibility of what's in the rooms, what's not working, what's not working. And it gives you some really, really cracking features. So um, that's $40 a month which really for the amount of engineering that Microsoft's putting into this is incredibly good value. So let's talk about that a little bit um, as we just move on to the next slide. Um, and so um, there's tons and tons and tons of good features there. Things like, um, oh, what have we got? We have got things like front row. For example, that um, works on single screen, dual screen, extra wide screen. Um, we've got full security in there, full manageability. All of those good key features that actually a reseller needs is, is right there for you guys to actually go and sell on top of. So, you know, from my perspective, I would actually recommend that really Pro is the answer. Pro is really where you want to go from a sales perspective, and it gives you the opportunity to upsell lots more products, lots more features. Things like uh, intelligent camera, intelligent uh, speaker, microphone, um, you know, all of those kind of things that are actually coming into um, the new managed room experience that Microsoft's trying to drive for is all on that Pro license and really not available on basic. So that's why I'm kind of like steering you towards that and steering your customer experience towards that. So look, I've talked quite a lot about the, the theory of why, um, I talked about the kind of science part, the licensing and the reason to go pro. Hopefully it's a compelling story. Um, it really is, I think, from my perspective. But like I said, I'm happy to engage with any of you in any more detail that you, you might want to find out. Um, and I suppose, Charlie, all that's left to do now is sell some kits and some rooms and make sure that these guys make some money and margin. So um, what are we going to do about it, Charlie? <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Um, brilliant. So, yes, what are we going to do about it? So. What what we've just done there is sort of um, Tom's positioned the um, the environment, the business challenge, the business opportunity, and then looked at the the software platform around it. Um, and now what I want to do is really talk about how Crestron and Microsoft have been working on a campaign to simplify meeting rooms. And what I mean by that is that you know it's as you've already seen there are challenges and there are demands that uh, users employees are already making. 
And so our joint customers are facing lots of choices and lots of decisions, and it's all very complex. And so what we want to do is really try and simplify that down so that we can make that meeting room experience uh, as good as it can be, but also make it simple in the decision making process. So we've come up with this, this concept uh, between us of a campaign around meeting rooms simplified with our Microsoft Teams rooms. And I just want to run this through you um, so that you can understand our channel partners that um, where there is a way we can help our customers, A, by simplifying the, the license model that Tom has just illustrated, and then how we can then approach that. So it's it's <clears throat> very straightforward. Um, Crestron are not reinventing the wheel here. We just may be redefining some of the products that we already sell uh, very successfully, but put them in a way that our customers, so this is a message that we'll be putting to our customers and so we want you to understand what that message is uh, because you're all very capable of delivering these solutions. So we want to just really unravel a lot of the complexity that customers feel they are facing today. So there's nothing new to you here today. Uh, it's more about the campaign that we're going to kick off later this year and early next year with Microsoft. So again, we are targeting rooms and we're targeting small rooms, medium rooms and large. It's it's that straightforward. And what we want to do is we will create a bill of materials, which is very easy to understand for our customer. If you want this kind of experience, here is your bill of materials. And it will just show various options that, that they can take. Um, I think what's good about it is that within that bill of material, uh, Tom calls it our superpower, is uh, the Crestron XIO Cloud, which is our management solution built on Azure. So, again, one of the things that is, uh, um, I guess, a value uh, in this in this partnership with Microsoft is that with our team's rooms, we are driving activations, which is good for all of us because we're we're selling. Um, but XIO Cloud, which is built on Azure, it means that it's also activating Azure licenses. But importantly, it's driving and helping our customers in their deployments and their management of those solutions. So as Tom says, um, you know, there's a differentiator between uh, a simple BYOD product and a native Teams room and what it can offer you around that basic license and that pro license, which it can't be offered in a BYOD product. So, again, it's it's trying to work out what is right for our customer and our target audience. Well, it's end users, ultimately. We want them to understand that this stuff is not scary, but um, it's also SME and it will also be enterprise as well. But importantly, this is through our channel. And that's whether you're a Crestron dealer or a Microsoft partner. Um, this is available to anybody that wants to uh, do business and sell Microsoft Teams rooms and importantly sell Crestron. Microsoft Teams room. So we're looking at a comms campaign around instant connection, which is the, the, the main thing that we're going to be doing. But as I said, um, we talk now about flex room solutions. So you've seen that I've sort of transitioned from meeting rooms uh, simple, simplified to flex room solutions. And you will all recognize this slide. We use it nearly every time we talk to our customers. And so nothing has been changed here apart from the way that we will present this to our customers at the end so that they can understand just how simple this can be. Um, and then you can do that work that you do so brilliantly for us in terms of the, the configurations, but really understanding what the customer needs. But this shows them the art of the possible. And so what have we done with this, this slide here that we use so much? Well, we are moving it into um, a configuration, as I said, a, a bill of materials. And so um, for our dealers, this is this is normal. This is uh, business as usual. You understand the product. So we're, we're basically flex Microsoft Teams rooms, plus also our XIO cloud and our flex care plus, uh, if needed, our Creston uh, connected devices. Because remember, we have a whole community of providers out there for monitors and such that would also add to that whole room experience. And so this is what we're looking at in terms of what those bill of materials would look like. So our customers can quite 
easily understand what it is that we're offering them for here we're looking at the small standard room and also just just spot on the right hand side there that we also have Jabra involved in this so we have this fantastic relationship with Jabra now this partnership worldwide and again this is where we're looking at where we can take the BYOD customer and show them what they get with native and with the native MTR and to all that other capability that Tom mentioned, and also then the management as well through the XIO cloud. So these are these are the configurations that we're offering. And so here you can see the medium standard. And what we're showing here is also the Crestron Flex Care, which we will offer as that bill of material. So you get the full end to end experience from the easy install to the aftercare as well, plus the management with the XIO cloud. So this is not, as Tom said, you know, with a BYOD sticking something at the end of the room. It's about the full management and care package that comes behind it. Because for our customers, that's what brings value. And if we bring value to our customers and success, then we all benefit from that. And everybody is incredibly happy. And again, we then move up slightly into the larger rooms. And then, of course, of the larger rooms, we start to think about uh, the more sophisticated rooms. I don't like to use the word complex. Um, I like to use where we are integrating, say, into um, AV, into that world of AV, which is where Crestron came from in the first place. You know, this is our 50th year, our 50th anniversary year. And so this is about where we can take a standard large room, but then also start to think about how we integrate that as well. So the whole thing is that we start simple, we start gentle. So almost taking it from the license model, where if a customer wants to go simple and gentle, then it's basic. But if they want to get a full suite, and that happens very, very quickly of features, then that's where they can move to. And this is what we're really offering here. Baby steps with the smaller rooms up to something where you're going to have a larger room with them, maybe more functionality. But everything here is the ultimate experience, given whichever scenario our customer requires. And again, um, this whole campaign is going to be around this instant connection. And again, as I say, three, there are three sort of key pillars here, easy to use, easy to trust and easy to scale, which is which is what our customers are looking for. Um, you know, this this is key. Because as, as we've all discovered through this return to work is that, you know, it's quite, quite scary for customers to try and figure out what it is that they invest in. Uh, it's a big commitment to make sure that they meet the demands of what Tom described in terms of what, what users and employees actually require today. Um, and what is our route to market? It is with you, our channel partners. So we will put end user marketing out there to drive demand. Um, we're going to create asset packs for you um, for both our dealers and our resellers. There's a slight distinction here in terms of dealers are Crestron dealers who, who work directly with us. But, you know, we also have this route to market for Microsoft partners who are Teams room partners who are also um, able to access, access our products through distribution as well. So this is this is open to everybody and that messaging is going to go out to our end customers it's going to be sme and business owners and it's going to be then for the enterprise customers the it managers and the av managers as well but basically there will be a bill of material a a proposition that meets any style of customer and whoever that buyer might be through whoever the channel will be but basically if you want to sell MTR and you want to sell Crestron MTR, then you are valuable to us as a as a channel partner. And so, again, um, the end proposition, I'll just leave that for you to look at. I won't read it for you because you're quite capable of doing that. And um, the other thing that we will be doing is also creating a virtual demo experience so that we can put the visualization and the art of the possible into the hands of our customers, into the hands of you, um, with all the usual assets that you can already get from Crestron as well. And so finally, the, the launch for this, uh, we are targeting to do a soft launch next month. I say that now because it is it scares me really that we're into December 2022 20, already, but then they'll we'll tweak and then we'll hard launch in January 2023. And so this is really the story so far hugely exciting and a really good illustration of the partnership that Crestron enjoys with Microsoft. And uh, Tom, thanks for the partnership. And Neil, 
back to you. Thanks, Charlie. Some really, really interesting data points there. I love the, uh, the the thought leadership and the learning that you can take from the information that they put into the third part of the Work Trend Index that Tom went through. Again, go and search it out. It's on the Microsoft website. Go search for the Work Trend Index um, or go and hook Tom up on LinkedIn. You can find it there. Get some amazing insights. Now, the licensing. Um, big changes, obviously, around that. Love the fact that the basic $0 cost gets you in, gets your foot in the door, allows you to have the flexibility and the capabilities of joining team schools with a Teams client. But then if you want that more enhanced experience, if you want to take full advantage of those great experiences that Front Row gives you, you know, being more engaged, trying to make more you know, equitable is the most overused term at the moment. But you know, Front Row is really driving that experience and making those remote workers feel more engaged and feeling more part of the meeting so again some amazing solution technologies that are coming as part of that enhanced license and then obviously us here at Crestron trying to simplify and demystify the complexities of meeting rooms making these simple packages for small medium and large deployments giving you that that additional capability the ability to schedule the room the ability to have a full fat MTR solution but also being able to then join a, a BYOD call from that device on a Friday at four o'clock when you've got to call that one supplier that uses some other platform that's not Microsoft Teams. How dare they? Um, it's okay. <laughs> Tom's making a funny face. You can't see it. Uh, but, you know, how dare they? Uh, but it's a great package to bring that all together and really simplifying that solution. Great opportunity for you, our channel partners, to take this new Meeting Rooms Made Simple uh, marketing and approach and deliver this solution to your customers. For more, more information around this, please visit us at crestron.com for more information around Teams. Please visit Microsoft.com. Hook us up on the usual social media networks, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, all the usual stuff. Charlie James and Tom Hall and myself are all available there. Thank you for your time uh, watching this session. And please stay tuned for more updates coming from us here at Creston and Microsoft around this topic. Have a great day and thanks for joining.